year six how are you uh, I just need you to know first that I missed you so much it's really not the same when you're not in my class and I'm not in my class either so but we're gonna do nothing but stay home and stay safe anyways guys I need you to grab your books remember my CT books okay grab your books and open up page 4445 read it quickly we're gonna start a new unit and a new things so please just read it quickly all right and then we will get to our lesson which is planning your presentation we're gonna learn how to plan our presentation and in your system you'll be able to see the file that I've uploaded planning your file uh, planning your presentation you're gonna use it to do your practice so remember presentations PowerPoints you used to use them just quickly make your own slideshows make your own PowerPoint presentation quickly and unplanned today you need to know how to plan it you need to know that any presentation that you work with you need to plan it ahead why because you might have many points that you need to discuss or many ideas that you need to show so you need to jot it down or write it down okay write it down into a piece of paper and then upload it or uh, type it and work with it in your word presentation okay guys listen the main thing that you need to know is storyboards what is a storyboard if you open and read about it in the first two pages it's easy you need to just put some ideas how, how long does your presentation need to be explained uh, what from what time to what time like you know just read page 46 and you'll be able to understand it uh, and don't forget that uh, you need to know how to plan your presentation think about what you need what do you want to do how long does it need need from you to do it uh, and um, what are the contents that you need to put in it All right PowerPoint makes it easy for you to put things to add things pictures graphs information uh, videos so PowerPoint makes it easy for you to apply your idea but first you have to plan your idea plan it plan it and write everything that you need before you apply it all right deal now let's look at page 48 49 okay read it check it it's a picture uh, board picture board see how easy is that this is called storyboard we've practiced it and we learned about it last year in year uh, not in year last year no in year four if you remember in the recipe anyways okay in this picture you can see that there was apple in the bag a boy saw it took an apple went out returned it came and there is no more apple so it says something I basically don't understand it anyways uh, you're going to do the same thing I will show you what to do now all right guys you will print this and you will add your notes and your uh, content <coughs> the idea that you need to uh, explain I'm going to create a five minute, 10 minutes, whatever presentation you need to tell my audience about, so you've got an audience, all the presentations need to be presented in front of audience. So slide number one, slide two, slide three, slide four. Maybe you've got more than four slides. You can print this paper twice and you can add your slides later. Okay, content and narration. Narration, it has to be short, it has to be straight to the point, and it's like a note about the content. 
I always tell my students not to type paragraphs in their narration sites. No, it's a short thing. It's a story. It's something that gets straight to the point. All right. So here you write a short narration about your site. First of all, you have to think about your, the idea that you need to uh, explain and draw it and then put your narration. Okay? Uh, it's very simple and easy. The only thing that you need to do is a little bit of thinking about which idea you need to um, explain and show. So... I hope it's easy for you guys. If you have any question, please write it down in the comments. I'll try my best to help you all. And uh, good luck. Stay safe. Please like this video.